Mummy Ads 2. Today we have a first impressions haul from Rude Cosmetics. I actually come across a new cosmetic brand that I personally, and it's not new, but I personally haven't tried it before, and it was Rude Cosmetics, and their products actually looked beautiful. So I wanted to go online and have a look and try and purchase a few of them because they are actually really affordable as well. I did think that I brought um, the set of these. These came in three, so you had a purple a green set and I can't remember what the other one was I think it was blues or something along those lines but unfortunately I ended up buying three of the same so there are two of these palettes that will be available for an up-and-coming giveaway so make sure that you're keeping your eyes out for that probably when we hit our thousand subscribers I have quite a lot of products there that have been put away for future giveaway so in my little mini haul I ended up by purchasing this palette, which is the Spellbook in Lust, and I also received the Rude Party Animals Remorse palette for free, which was lovely. I then also received two blushes. I purchased these ones. One is Cake Pop, and the other one is Creamsicle, and these are more of a, I think they're more of a cream, yes, they're more of a cream blush. And also I purchased two Honey Glaze Lip sh Shine Lip Colors. Super cute. Like the packaging of these products are actually adorable. Really adorable. And as I said, guys, these products are really affordable. So if if the products actually perform really well at the price point, then I'm going to be super happy and I'm going to go back and I'm purchase some more and review those as well as, as new items come into their store. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do an eye look today, probably using one of these and then on Instagram I'll have a couple of different eye looks using both. I will we'll also do some swatches of both palettes. We'll have a look at the blushes and the lip colours as well. So let's take a look at what these palettes look like. It's called the Spellbook in Lust and the packaging is beautiful. It does open up like a little book. It has the mirror and those colors are delightful. They look at them. They're amazing. I'm wondering if they perform as well as what they look. So we'll go in with Midnight first and we'll see where we're going to go here. So Midnight. Romance. Oh, look at that pigment. Psychic. Fate, which is another matte, and that is swatched with my little finger, guys. So I'm going to go in twice with that one because obviously, generally, the little fingers take a little bit more to swatch. So let's take a look at those four supernatural. Oh, that is pretty. That has a little bit of a, a shift to that one too. It's a bit of a multi, a bit of a duo chrome. It shifts from pink. It has that little bit of an orange shift to that as well. Hex. Oh wow, these colours, the pigment in these are amazing. Uh, then we've got a press, press glitter in witchy. Oh, that's pretty. I know not everyone enjoys a pressed glitter, but that is pressed really nice. I don't have, at this point, a glitter glue for my makeup, so I'm not sure I'm going to use that, but we'll see how we go. So that one is Love Potion. And then finally, in this palette, we have Eclipse. So let's get a... <gasps> wow, look at that. That's just going in once, so the pigment in those are amazing. Hopefully they blend out and um, perform really nicely. Ah, I've got to get it off the hand now. Okay, so as I said, the second palette is the Rude Party Animals Rumors palette, which is super cute. And I think they actually have a set of these as well. There's a lot of animal-themed kits there. Well, I'm going to have to go have another look at that. Then our palette looks like this. 
and let's do some swatches. So the first one is called Babe, which is more of just a white mat or a cream mat, I would say. The second one is Piggy, which is more caramel toned mat. The third is Pigtail. Well, that is pretty. And the fourth is Hamlet. Let's do this up on here. Little pinky again, which. And then finally on that top row is Porky. If I can get that across my knuckle. Porky, which is that beautiful blue mat. Okay, so then we have, second row, we have bacon. That really nice dark chocolate muddy mat. Elvis. <gasps> Look at that. Gold. Shimmer there. Winker, which is, let's go back in that one a little bit, I'm not sure I picked that one up properly, which is just more a light transitional color, I would say, tan color. Then we have Swindler, oh, which is another more, uh, duochrome, look at that, look at the shift in that, that is so pretty. And then the last color, Wilbur. Oh my gosh. That. That is everything. Okay, so we're going to we're going to have a look at the blushes. So we do have Creamsicle, which looks like this one. And it's more of, it actually is coming off a lot brighter on the camera than it is. It is, oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's very creamy. So hopefully that shears out. It's quite an orangey pink. No, I'd say it's leaning more orange blush. And it doesn't look like you need that much. And then we have Cake Pop, which is a bright pink. So let's go in there. Obviously, we know that we don't need that much. Which comes off like this. Let's see how it shears out on the hand. Which is quite pretty. So that is the two blushes okay so the two lips that we have the first one is in what color cinnamon twist and it has the lip color here with the gloss so let's have a look at a swatch of this we will try both of these on the lips and then we have sprinkled which is kind of the same but more leaning leans a little bit more pink I think and mauvey, yeah. So this is it here, which is more of a mauvey pink color. Okay, so that is all our swatches. So we're going to get into the look. And as I said, if you are interested in seeing a couple of different looks with these, then go over to my Instagram, which is Mummy Ads Two as well. I have zoomed you in a little bit, so that way, so that way you can see what I'm actually doing a little bit better. Hopefully, I don't knock the table too much because you're literally up on boxes. So let's take a look. I think. I think I want to go in with the spell book. If you are interested in seeing the other two of these and you want a couple of looks, then let me know and I'll go and I'll go grab them and we'll play around with those as well. I'm not really sure what kind of look I want to go for today, but I do know that I want to play with these colors because they're beautiful and I want to see if they perform as well as I think that they might. Okay, so what we might do is... We might go in with this color to start with. That's a bit of a transition today, which is called Midnight. And oh, quite a lot of dust in the pan, but sometimes that happens. We'll just give that a bit of a kick off. Let's just play and see where we go. Mainly we're just trying to see what these colors are like. So I'm just gonna put that color into the crease. And just a little bit above, remembering that I do have the hooded eyes, so I do need to bring that up a little bit more. It goes on quite nicely, and it actually is blending out beautifully at the moment. Let's then go in with Fate, which is this slightly darker 
well light brown more camel bring that into the corners and up over I think I kind of want to do a bit of a halo eye today just to add a little bit more dimension into that crease So it's coming off more peachy actually that color which is quite pretty it's coming out more peachy from the pan so we're going to go in with love potion which is the darkest brown here and i'm just putting that more on a packing brush and i'm going to bring that up both sides of the eye Hey guys, so you can see how well that is actually blending over the top of the other shades. Sometimes some of your shadows can stick, don't want to blend very nicely. But let me come up closer so you can actually take a better look. It does need a little bit more blending, but you can see how that is sitting quite nicely over the top of each other. And it's not, it's not patchy at all, not that I can see at this point. It's very pretty actually really really pretty I'm enjoying playing with this palette I think I want to go so we're going as I said we're going to do a bit of a halo look and then we'll put something up underneath the eye I think I want to go in with we'll see what happens we'll go in with um, psychic which is this beautiful gold see how it picks up I'm going to use a dry brush first to see how that applies I am using a packing brush and we'll see how that actually That's nice. Let's try our finger. Sometimes fingers are the key. I'm going to come back in with that dark brown love potion and deepen up the corners here. Okay guys, so this is our finished eye look. Let's have a look. I'm actually really happy with how that palette performed. So remembering we used the Rude Cosmetics Spellbook in Lust and it's actually really really pretty those colors perform really well. They blended fantastic We are going to now have a look at the blushes and the lipsticks. So I'm thinking with this look We may go in with something a little bit pink <laughs> Let's go in with the pink one to see how it performs just to brighten this look up a little bit So it is a cream blush. I'm going to go in with just a brush here tap a little bit because we know we've seen how pigmented that was on the swatches and I'm just going to oh yeah okay you do not need much of this let's hope this is going to blend out it's really pretty though so this is the cake pop So guys, that has given my skin a really nice look. It hasn't pulled up at my foundation at all and has blended so easily. Actually, like a dream, to be honest. That is really pretty. A win. There's nothing that I have used at the moment that I don't like. Let's have a look at 
our lips. So we'll have a look at both colors, but I think our final look will go in with, what color was this one? I think we'll go in with the cinnamon twist, but we'll have a look and see what sprinkled looks like on the lips first. I'm just going to line them with the Model Co Illusion Lip Liner. So. and go in. That's pretty. So that one is the sprinkled. I haven't put the gloss over the top because as I said, I am going to try the other one. It, it does feel really comfortable on the lips. You'd have to wait till it dried down to see how that was going to perform 100%. But let's go take this one off and put on our next one. So sprinkled, pretty, actually goes pretty well with this look too, to be honest. And now we're going in with Cinnamon Twist. Let's have a look at the applicator. Give that a couple of seconds to dry and we will put the gloss on. So this is our final look for today. What do you think guys? Do you like this look? Did you like those products, the swatches? And let me know down below if you actually want to see a few more looks and I'll go over onto Instagram. If you want me to review some more of these products from Rue Cosmetics, then definitely comment down below and make sure that you subscribe for future giveaways. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I'm super happy with all these products. I'm definitely going to purchase again. Would highly recommend these ones that I've used anyway. Beautiful. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.